Hi, my name is John Ibada. We're here at Cosmopolitan Hall in Cosmo Music in Richmond Hill, Canada. Uh, a good friend of mine, Ray Williams from Music Marketing, asked me when he was in uh, his children take lessons here at the store and said, well, you have some Seebeckstein grand pianos that are $150,000. And he said, well, I'd love to know why is the piano that price? And it's really to two groups of people. There's those who just want the very best of the best. And money's not an object, they just want the best. And then there's those who, unless they win the lottery, that's when they would purchase their Seebeckstein grand piano. So a little bit about Seebeckstein. You know, we've heard uh, the greatest piano music really was written in Europe through the 1800s. So C. Beckstein started in 1853 in Germany. The greatest composers, the, the compositions we play, were all composed on a Beckstein. Franz Liszt, Debussy, Wagner, Brahms, all those music that they composed was inspired by a C. Beckstein piano. We don't realize that we've listened to, our generation has listened to a C. Beckstein for all the great hits. Uh, Abbey Road Studios in England, so The Beatles, Hey Jude, The White Album, Bohemian Rhapsody by Queen, Elton John's Goodbye Yellow Brick Road, all recorded on a C. Beckstein. So we've listened to it all our lives. I guess one concern for the investor, saying, well, it's really not the price of the piano, but how long will this piano last? It's the cost of the instrument. A C. Beckstein, well, there's pianos from 1853. So the pianos are known to last for three generations, 150 years. So basically $1,000 a year, well, gee, when we pay for our children's lessons or our lessons, it's about $125 a month. We pay $100 for our cell phone a month. So for less, even if you add in all the tuning and repair maintenance over 150 years, a century and a half, it would cost less to play on a Seebeckstein, a finer instrument. And then three generations of your family will enjoy playing on a finer instrument. It really costs you less. It's not about price, it's the cost of the piano. We want to know how the piano's built. A Seebeckstein takes 18 months to create this instrument. There's 12,000 parts to a piano, 5,000 moving parts. So obviously we would use the absolute finest of materials, the finest woods. A piano is 70% wood. Um, all the materials in the piano. The other thing we'd want to know, well, who builds this piano? Well, in Europe, they have this grading system for all the piano tuners and technicians. From It's sort of like, you know, you can pump gas, you can change the oil of a car, you can repair an engine, or can you take apart the whole car and put it back together in build a new one. Well, at Beckstein, they have 350 employees. 50 of those people are what they call the master piano builders. So even including the sales staff, the administration, there's one in seven people, including the CEO of the company, is a master builder. The quality of the piano before it leaves the factory, it's all about the instrument the quality of the musical instrument, how it performs, the balance, and all those factors. I guess from the investor's point, too, is the company. Uh, Beckstein purchased all its assets back um, to complete 100% ownership in Germany in year 2006. Beckstein is now the largest European-built piano manufacturer. They're the largest selling German-built piano, even in Germany, outselling the many other German pianos. One of the <clears throat> issues that uh, Beckstein name is not as well known because they don't endorse artists. In Germany, because of the many manufacturers, it is not allowed, not permitted legally, to endorse an artist. So nobody is paid to play on a Beckstein. You're not given a free piano to use or given a piano period. There are no endorsed artists with Beckstein. Yet, throughout North America now, since Beckstein America started about five to six years ago, it's now the choice piano going into Carnegie Hall for all 
levels, be it grade one to grade 10 for examinations and jazz to classics to pop. Beckstein is just growing in popularity because of the piano. It's all about when you sit down and you play the piano. You want that inspiration. There's really two things. Because the piano will last three generations, very inspiring, very low cost of ownership, unlike the mass-produced pianos from Asia. Of course, Beckstein has been recorded by many software manufacturers and sample libraries because of the quality of the piano. And the other factor, of course, it's a musical instrument. You want it to inspire you, to compose, to create, to play those pieces to the best sounding possible and capabilities. And of course, the best thing is let's play on a Beckstein. 